Hello everyone, I'm here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. In this one we're going to learn how to make a CG gallery. Uh, there is one already provided in RenPy that you have to do a little bit of work on, but we're going to make one from scratch because, for two reasons. First is I couldn't get the built-in one working, so if you can then congratulations you did something I can't. Um, I'm not sure why, but whatever. And second, it's good practice. So the first thing we're going to do is set up some proportional scaling. So in this setup file, I'm going to make an init Python. And I'm going to create a max scale function, which takes an image and a min width which is going to default to config.screen width, which is the width of your game. Min height equals config.screen height. So we're going to say cur width, cur height equals mpy.image size of the image. So that's what we are currently. We're going to say x scale equals float of min width over car width, and y scale equals float of min height over cur height. Then we're going to say if x scale is greater than y scale because this is a max scale so we want it to take up at least as much room as that but it'll be proportional so we're going to say max scale equals x scale else max scale equals y scale and then we're going to return m dot factor scale so that's going to do our it's going to scale our image by max scale in the x and max scale in the y then i'm going to make a min scale which is going to be the exact same thing except it's going to go the other way around And this is so that we can make pretty thumbnails of our images. Width over cur width y scale equals float max height or cur height. If x scale is less than, because this is the other way around, min scale equals x scale. Else, min scale equals y scale. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing. Return m dot factor scale image and we're going to use min scale oops wrong one okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to define some constants here i'm going to say um max number of x equals two so i'm going to say i want two across you can change this later Max num y equals two as well, so that's we're gonna have four images per page. We're gonna say max thumb x equals this is gonna be the width of our thumbnail. 
dot screen width divided by maximum x plus one because I want some extra spacing there. So in this case, it's going to be there's going to be some nice spacing between each thumbnail. And max thumb y equals config dot screen height divided by x num y plus one. You can do your spacing any way you want. I'm just doing this because it's very convenient. And I'm gonna go max per page equals zero. Uh not zero. Equals max num x times max num y. Okay, now I'm going to go redefine my images. I've got them right here already. Um, these images are actually huge, so I'm going to use max scale on all of them. And I'm using control click or command click if you're on a Mac to give myself extra cursors so I can type in everywhere at once. So I'm going to say max scale. And there we go. And then I'm going to do min scale for the thumbnails. And I'm going to use the uh, max thumb x and max thumb y as my max widths and heights. So I'm going to say min scale, comma, max thumb x, max thumb y. So that's it for those. There's one more thing I'm going to do for the setup is I'm going to create a gallery item class that will be able to tell whether it should whether a gallery item should be locked or not and it'll have all the details that we need so class gallery item and these are python classes in it self i'm going to take a name images thumbnail image because you might want a different one um and that'll be up to you locked thumbnail and i'm going to default this to equal this locked thumb right here so my self dot name equals name self dot images equals images self dot thumb equals thumb and self dot locked equals locked so i'm going to define a couple functions here num images self and this one, I'm just going to return the length of self dot images. And then I'm going to do this one, which is much more important. I'm going to call it refresh lock. So this is basically going to decide whether it's supposed to be locked or not. And I'm going to call refresh lock on it in my constructor. So I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to say self dot num unlocked equals zero. So we're going to start that off as zero and we're going to say lock me. So a new variable lock me equals false for now. No, not factor scale, false. And then we're going to loop through our images or 
and in self dot images. If we're not seen already, so RenPy has this really nice um, function that's called RenPy dot scene image, and we can just pass in the image and it tells you if it's been seen at all before. So if it's not been seen, then we're going to say lock me equals true because that means that there's an image we haven't seen, so we don't want to unlock this gallery item yet. Else, I'm going to say self dot num unlocked plus equals one because there's one that's unlocked. And then after that's done, I'm going to say self dot is locked equals lock oops equals lock me. So that's what's going to happen in there. Okay, so enough about the setup. Let's actually get to some of the pretty stuff. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to our screens file and we need to find the main menu. And I'm looking in the navigation right now. I'm going to put right here after preferences. I'm going to say text button gallery action show menu gallery. So what we need to do right now is we need to, in my gallery file, we're going to make a screen gallery and we have to say tag menu because it's a menu now. I'm going to say add black for now and then we're going to make a return button. Uh, text button return action return so we're going to go back x align 0 0.5 y align 0. Oh, let's do 98 so really close to the bottom and if we run it right now and I didn't make any mistakes When I go to the gallery, it'll just be a blank black page and I can go back. Okay, so that's all there is so far for this tutorial. I'll give you part two next time where we are going to actually make it look pretty. But the setup stuff that we did before is actually really important because it's going to make things look nice. Okay, I'll see you next time.